Und die macht das Tommy Wörsen in Zinsenbach. Kaufmann, wo sie weiß, ob ich diese Dick App so zu bevor uns hat, der mal an. Die dann regular Prinz ist der Gäste und Johnny Glass aus dem Reichen. Und in 78, wir lassen die Johnny Glass für TVs, Taxi, the Sitcom, zu play Blood Cry, a take on his foreign man character. And he became a household name. His fame increased in my 1979. He was nominated for a Golden Globe and performed at Carnegie Hall and taped an ABC special. His regular appearance on the Letterman show in the early 80s saw a on crushing what could be called as the definition of material. Constantly growing the line between what was real and what was imagined, he continued to orchestrate ever more provocative situations. He often talked about faking his own death. So when he appeared thin and with a shaved head in his last televised appearance, no one took it seriously. Carver died of a red hole of London in 1984, though many still believe that it be the part of his act. He was 183 centimeters tall and weighed 78 kilograms. Where he would read, he would come on stage and start reading from the, gate, the Great Gatsby. He would start at the beginning, doing a very perfect English accent, which I can't do because I am English. And he would continue reading first page, second page, third page, until the audience would start to boo and make a lot of noise. And at that point, he would say, oh, "If you don't settle down, I'll start from the beginning," which sent people crazy. And he would, he would start from the beginning, and he would start reading right from the first page all the way through second page, third page, until people were going crazy in the audience. And then a member of the theatre would come up and beg Andy to do something more entertaining, at which point he would offer to play a record. He would give the option to the audience and they would have to say, yes, yes, record, please, God, play the record, which he would then do, and it would land, the needle would land on the record, and out of the speaker would come English Andy's voice, at exactly the point he'd left off reading The Great Gatsby. <laughs> then he had another incarnation, which was Tony Clifton, which was a supremely obnoxious, misogynist supreme, who would come on usually with two gals on his side, and he would abuse every and any member of the audience possible, throwing water at them, abusing them physically, verbally, and then he would sing a terrible song. And in between all these acts, there would be Andy. Returning, Returning to the bed, she shouted the blankets up and the pillows before sitting herself down on the edge. Her slim body sunk only a little into the mattress as she, she made herself comfortable and lit a cigarette. Boots. He pulled in his stomach and scraped his knees up beneath him. His hair was rough, caked in mud, and she could see that his chest had not escaped the beating. With his eyes glued to the floor, he gathered up her boots and shifted painfully on his knees across the rough boards towards her. She flicked her cigarette, and he felt a split-second burn as the gleaming ash crumbled off her shoulders. She lifted a leg off the mattress, jutting it out in front of him. Gingerly, he took her foot in his hands and guided it back into the boot. Quicker, she spat. It took, took a drag. I'm sick of middle-class Jewish kids who play it safe. He lingered a little too long over the laces, looking at each one carefully before attempting a slow burn. She became impatient and gave him a kick in the chin. Coughing, he quickly finished lacing the second boot and sat back on his heels. Thank you very much, he ventured, stealing a nervous glance up at her. She caught his eye and held it with her own deep brown stare, possessing him, penetrating him, and without breaking away, she took another drag. He remained transfixed, watching her and watching him as her pink lips closed around the orange filter. The smoke wove from between her teeth as she pitched a grin. Rabbit! She rammed her heel into his groin, 
he fell backwards, backwards his toes crunching beneath her weight. The impact sent a sudden gush of blood surging through him, and he became painfully erect. His cock pressing hard against the rough soul. His ears thundered with pulsing bass and Lee relented, taking her boot off his pedal. His cock sprang back towards her like a pop tart. She threw her head back and laughed, a cloud of messy smoke erupting from her mouth. Her cigarette butt fell to the floor and she left it smoldering as she collapsed backwards onto the bed. Cutting her laugh short, she shunted her hips to the edge of the mattress and then slowly spread her legs. Now eat. <laughs>